Hi, welcome to part two of this tutorial. I'm Morten from Playful Synapse and in this part I will show you how to make the controls for the characters so that we can actually move them around. Let's get back to the My Player controller to add the controls. First we need to add uh, the input axis event. And let's use the move forward for this one. And we also need to get the controlled pawn. This is the controller. This is the, the pawn of the first character. Here we go. And what we're going to do is that we're going to add some movement to this uh, pawn. So let's uh, find the function add movement input. Drag it out a bit. We're going to add, add some more nodes here. And the scale value is the axis value. What we also need now is the world direction. So that's the direction we're going to move the pawn in whenever the input axis move forward is activated. So for uh, or to get this direction, we can use the controlled pawn that we have here. And we need to get the control rotation. For some reason, the context sensitive menu doesn't work just in this case. So just take it off and uh, get control rotation like that. And we just need to convert this. Uh, this is our uh, rotation. So we need to convert this into a vector in order to make this work. So just uh, drag this off. Add the context sensitive uh, back and uh, type in get forward vector like this. Add this up and this should be good to go. Now this uh, first character should be able to move backwards and forwards. But before we test it, let's also add uh, the move to the right. So again. Move right. Let's find that event like this. This is pretty much the same way as the previous one. We get the controlled pawn. We search for add movement like this. The axis value should also be the same. The target should be oh, that's the same. Yes. And in this case, we are not going to use the forward vector, but we are going to use the right vector. So let's get right vector like that. Add it to the world direction. And we should now have set up the, the controls needed to move our first uh, character. That uh, should be the left one, I think. Let's compile, save and test it play. Now we can move this character forwards, backwards and to the side. The right character, that is the character 2, doesn't move yet. So let's just add the play controls for the character 2. This is done in much the same way as we did with the character 1. So let's first search for input axis. But now we will, of course, use the move forward too. And instead of the get controlled pawn, we will now use our character 2 for this. So let's get the character 2. And again, we will add movement input. Axis value should be the scale value. We get the control rotation. Switch off the context sensitive menu. Control rotation like that. Get the forward vector. That didn't really work, did it? Nope. 
Oh, sorry. Yes. So let's switch back to the context sensitive menu just to make sure that we get the correct function. Like this. And now it works. And so this will enable the second character to move backwards and forwards. And let's just add the event to make it turn sideways as well. That's the move right two. And uh, the character two here should also have the add movement input to it. go the axis value to the scale value and let's find the right vector from the rotation like this add it to the world direction this should be all we need to do actually compile it save it and let's test it. The second character can move backwards and forwards and to the side. And still the first one can still works okay. So we didn't uh, ruin that by fixing our second character. That should be it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.